What's up guys? Welcome back to the Third Floor Arcade. This is Jason and today I'm going to be taking a look at the new Golden Axe cabinet from Arcade 1UP. Now I just received this cabinet a few days ago and my initial impression on this is that this is definitely a top three cabinet so far released by Arcade 1UP. Now I paid $3.99 for this cabinet um, on the Arcade 1UP website. It's exclusive to that website. And uh, however, there's been an update on the availability. It's currently listed as unavailable, sold out. Um, however, a few days ago, uh, John D from Arcade One Up uh, mentioned that this will be um, available in early 2021. However, at a 4.99 price point, which kind of stinks for uh, the people that haven't uh, bought this yet. Um, so what's included in that price? You got the uh, custom riser, which looks pretty awesome. It has the uh, Revenge of Death Adder logo on the side there. You got the sweet looking side panels. I think it's definitely one of the cooler looking Arcade 1UP so far. And of course you got the uh, light up marquee in line with all the, uh, the newer Arcade 1UP. Seems like they're uh, doing that on a lot of these now. And you got the uh, wider four controller uh, control deck. Um, now this does have a little downside to having this wider deck as it takes up more space in your home, but I understand why they did that on this cabinet as they wanted to keep this close to the original Revenge of Death Adder arcade. So this cabinet features the five Sega classics. You got a uh, Golden Axe Revenge of Death Adder. You got the original Golden Axe. You got Altered Beast. You got Shinobi, and lastly, you got Wrestle War. So let's take a look at some gameplay on this cabinet. All right, guys, so here we got the uh, main menu on this cabinet. Um, and right off the bat, this thing looks awesome. Um, as you're flipping through the five games, you can see um, each game has like their own graphics on the main menu, which I think is a great touch. Um, it's something Arcade 1UP hasn't done yet. Um, so let's check out these games. The first game, which is the headliner, you got Golden Axe Revenge of Death Adder, which is a game that was never uh, released or ported to uh, any home consoles. This is the first time. You got uh, the original Golden Axe from 1989, which uh, I remember playing this as a kid. It was just absolutely amazing. Um, you got the, the famous Shinobi, another late 80s classic. You got Wrestle War. Um, this game, honestly, I've never even played this or saw in the arcade, so this game is new to me. And uh, also, you got Altered Beast, which is another huge Sega classic. Um, now, there is one thing I noticed um, that was kind of strange with the controls on the uh, menu screen. Um, you can only use the left joystick only when you're uh, selecting a game which I thought was kind of weird. And then um, if you're playing a one or two player game, then you have to switch over to one of the center joysticks. Um, I just think it would be a lot, of, a little bit easier um, if, you, if any of these joysticks worked on this main menu screen. Um, all right, so let's jump in right on into the uh, first game, Golden Axe, The Revenge of Death Adder. Now this game, um, definitely one of the cooler beat-em-ups um, in arcade history. Um, a lot of people never played this, um, but wow, this game, uh, it's just like the original Golden Axe, but on steroids. You got better characters, better levels, better weapons, better uh, choices, um, just the whole thing. It's just very well done. Turn this volume up a little bit. This, this game just controls amazing. Let's check out some magic. Cool. 
as you can see, uh, they got, just like the original Golden Axe, you got uh, different uh, monsters. Here we got a mantis you can hop on. Just super cool. Oh man, the effects of this game were just awesome. Look at that waterfall. This game is four player at the same time. I'll show you, I'll drop in some other characters. Uh, here's Dora. Definitely a cool character. Uh, we got Stern, who's like a barbarian type from the, uh, similar to the original Golden Axe. And then the final is uh, tricks. Oh, there's the magic for Stern. Hit the wrong button there. Here we got a uh, fourth character. This little dude. So let's uh, quickly jump into the next game. But man, when I this game is just such a good beat em up. Um, I think it ranks up there with like the X Men. Um, Beat them up from back in the day. The Ninja Turtles was a good one. Um, the Simpsons Arcade. Death Adder definitely ranks up there with those, I think. So here we got uh, the original Golden Max. So this game actually was um, one of the first arcades I can remember playing. Um, I was about, I think this, I was like seven years old when this game came out. And I remember playing this in uh, the Franklin Mills Mall back in the day. They had an arcade in Northeast Philadelphia. And uh, I was just amazed at this game. Let's go with, uh, let's go with the girl. Man, this game just brings back so much memories. Plays great, feels just like the original. I haven't noticed any slowdown at all playing these. I love the sound effects in these Golden Max games. The original Golden Axe definitely has an older feel to it, though, than uh, Death Adder, for sure. I think it's uh, three years. Pretty sure Golden Axe, the original, is about three years before Death Adder. Could be wrong on that one, though. Do a little magic. All right, so let's jump out of here. We'll check out the next game. Which is Shinobi. Now, I think Arcade 1-Up is definitely doing it right by adding more games. Um, a lot of these older cabinets, they had like two or three games, and um, it just wasn't enough. I think with five, I think that's uh, definitely a lot better. All right, so let's check out Shinobi. So Shinobi was a late 80s uh, Sega arcade classic. Um, this game always reminded me of like Bad Dudes, 
uh, only a little bit harder. Mission one. So let's check out. Check it out. Mission one. Now with this game, one hit and you're dead. So you got to uh, you got to avoid everything in this game. Definitely a good game. Oh, already died. And guys, I forgot to mention, um, on the main menu screen, um, each of the games, they allow, uh, you can switch up the settings. Um, you can switch up things like uh, difficulty, um, scan lines, uh, all different types of options. You can reset high scores, which I think is another um, a huge plus to this cabinet, which hasn't really been seen before in Arcade 1-Up, aside from the Star Wars cabinet. So let's jump out of this game. Check out the next game, which is uh, Altered Beast, which was hugely popular in the arcades um, in its day. Now, uh, what I noticed, I've played this on the Genesis a lot. The Genesis version is a lot easier than the arcade version. Rise from your grave. this game in a while. This game plays exactly how you would expect. Uh, this is like a mere clone of the uh, arcade. Whoa, I need that power up. Oh man, that guy just killed me. Alright, so this game plays great, love it. Let's check out the next game. Man, that game just brings me back to uh, the late 1980s. So here we got uh, Wrestle War. It's kind of like a nice change of pace game. Um, another cool thing I noticed about this, um, as you can tell, this is a uh, vertical game and um, it's a horizontal screen. In previous arcade one-ups you would see the black bars on the side. It's cool how they uh, incorporated the graphics to fill in the black um, the black parts on the side of the screen. I think that was a pretty cool touch. Welcome to Wrestle War. I'll probably get my butt handed to me in this game. This is a game I definitely need to uh, learn how to play this. Uh, you gotta pick this dude. There we go. Hit him.
not a bad game. This has good graphics. Controls seem to be pretty good. Um, I just don't know how to play. I gotta learn the uh, all the moves and stuff. All right, so let's go back to the main menu. You coward! You coward! You coward! <laughs> you coward! You coward! All right, guys. So uh, my final thoughts on this: um, If you're a Golden Axe fan, Sega fan, this is a must own, in my opinion. Uh, I know it's unavailable currently, but when this uh, becomes available in early 2021, I would highly recommend this cabinet. Um, and these other games, I'm just a huge Golden Axe fan. I love it. Um, these other games are just a bonus to me. Um, Shinobi is probably uh, my next favorite after the Golden Axe games. Altered Beast is pretty good too. But uh, yeah, guys, definitely um, I recommend this cab. Um, you can pick this up. Um, is it worth a $4.99 when it comes uh, becomes available again? That's up to you to decide. But uh, I probably would still buy this at $4.99. All right, guys, thanks for checking into the Third Floor Arcade. Please like and subscribe. I have a ton more videos coming out. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.